Hello, welcome to another video, in this video, we are going to talk about the ibuprofen drug. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe to it, it's a new channel, so I need your support. Now come to our topic. Table of Objectives. Overview. Indications. Contraindication. Side Effects. Warnings. Dosage and Brands. Let's start with the overview. Ibuprofen is a non-steroidal analgesic, antipyretic and anti-inflammatory agent. It was the first propionic acid derivative to be used in most countries. Chemically ibuprofen is propionic acid. It reduces inflammation, fever and relieves pain. Ibuprofen is equivalent to aspirin in its anti-inflammatory effects, but ibuprofen is a more effective analgesic than aspirin or acetaminophen. Ibuprofen is prepared chemically and marketed as a racemic mixture of its two enantiomers. Ibuprofen is available in combination with codin, acetaminophen and pseudoephedrine. Ibuprofen is available for oral and topical administration. Indications. Ibuprofen is primarily indicated in conditions like cystic fibrosis, fever, juvenile chronic arthritis, migraine, mild to moderate pain, musculoskeletal pain, nausea and vomiting, osteoarthritis, pain, postoperative analgesia, rheumatoid arthritis, severe pain and tenderness in benign fibrocystic breast disease, toothache, and can also be given in adjunctive therapy as an alternative drug of choice in acute arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, dysmenorrhea, inflammatory bowel disease. Contraindication. Ibuprofen is contraindicated in conditions like hypertension, peptic ulcer, bronchospasm, renal failure, hypersensitivity, and GI bleeding. Side effects. The severe or irreversible adverse effects of ibuprofen, which give rise to further complications include thrombocytopenia, elevated blood pressure. Ibuprofen produces potentially life-threatening effects which include vomiting, peptic ulceration, hematemesis, severe gastric pain, which are responsible for the discontinuation of ibuprofen therapy. The signs and symptoms that are produced after the acute overdosage of ibuprofen include hypotension, nausea, vomiting, cardiac arrhythmias, coma, seizures, acidosis, ataxia, headache, renal failure, epigastric pain, hyperkalemia, GI bleeding, renal and hepatic dysfunction. The symptomatic adverse reactions produced by ibuprofen are more or less tolerable, and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically. These include flatulence, dizziness, headache, diarrhea, constipation, tinnitus, blurred vision, rashes, urticaria, pruritus, gastritis, depression, elevation of liver enzymes, fluid retention, edema, somnolenchex, hearing loss, hypersensitivity reactions, blood dyscrasias, angioedema, vision disturbances, aseptic meningitis, and dizziness. Warnings. Ibuprofen should be used with caution in patients with intrinsic coagulation defects and those on anticoagulant therapy. It should be used with caution in patients with compromised cardiac function, hypertension, other condition predisposing to fluid retention. It should be used with extra care in the presence of existing uncontrolled infection. Perform periodic auditory, hearing, function test during chronic therapy. Discontinue drug if the skin reaction occurred. High risk groups. The drug should not be given to neonates. If prescribing authority justifies the benefits of the drug against the possible damages he or she should re-evaluate them and consult the reference material and previous studies. Dosage. The adult dose is 200 to 600 mg, single dose is 400 mg, frequency is 8 hourly. The route is oral. And the maximum dose in the adult is 1.2 grams. Now, Pediatric dosage. 
The pediatric dose is 5 to 10 mg per kilogram, a single dose is 7.5. Frequency is 8 hourly. And the route is oral. The maximum dose is pediatric is 40 mg per kilogram. And the brands are Brufen, Motrin, Advil. That's it for now, I hope you like it, thanks for watching, and don't forget to press subscribe button.